Yo, what's up, dude? Like, how can you afford this? McDonald's. Nah, I ain't bet. How do you get them down? <laughs> What is going on guys? We are here at Armature Works part two basically because our second time here. Huge turnout just like last time. A lot of different cars. Check it out and enjoy. So many different cars and people and beautiful dogs and nice scenery. So kind of get a flavor of everything. Cool how it's put together and on the go and crack it open like really dope. Brown sugar latte shaker. I got pumpkin latte. Let's see. Two hours later, made a quick stop at the Asian market. See what we could find. These things look really intriguing. And then we got some some buns, some sweet milk buns or whatever. Ooh, Lambo. And then some barbecue chicken pork buns. So yeah, yeah, or no, barbecue chicken buns. We have a steamer, so it's gonna be fire. This little car me, car show, car me. This thing is super cool. What do you guys think about these? Do we get one of these, you know, van life? We get something like this with some storage? I don't know if it has any like really towing capacity. <laughs> these things are cool, bro. You don't, you don't get to see these too often. Clean, clean, clean. This Toyota hatch, man. These, these are nice. These are nice. Hey, look at this guy. How you doing? What's going on, man? How you doing, bro? Bro, this is a lot smaller, bro. Like, this is a lot smaller in person than, like, you would think it would be. Especially with this big-ass fucking machine gun to be mounted on. <laughs> like, this seems like it would, like, wheelie if this thing's shooting type shit. Now, this thing, this thing's big. <laughs> Fit all the homies back here, man. Oh, I don't got it open. That Lotus is real nice. Nice orange. Ooh. And machine gun up top too. Oh yeah. Well, TSX action. Probably the only one here. The tan looks really good, man. Ooh. Medulo. TCW wheels. This tan looks really good for the TSX, man. I enjoy the tan look. Really like his fitment now. Like I thought he was more stance, but yo, what's up, dude? Like, how can you afford this? McDonald's. Nah, I bet. <laughs> so a nice little family-oriented kind of show. Yeah, you bring your kids, you bring your dogs, you bring your, you know, all your old homies. You guys take out your lawn chairs, kick back, sitting around the campfire practically. You know, kind of smells like there's one going. So. Oh, and, but there's a lot of classics here. I mean, that's the the kind of area we are in. I mean, it's a nice mixture of different cars. You know, you get a little a little flavor and taste of different things. A lot more classic and older school, as you guys can see. But cool little vibe. Shout out to Ralphie. Always nice seeing you, man. Always down to come support and you know check things out. Corvettes got all the older Corvettes. <laughs> Basically, I don't know the Chevys and Fords. I don't know every car guys i don't know a lot of cars so learning man we learning out here Brad. bro this this thing fire bro look at that thing i wouldn't mind a z06 c5 or something you know 
It's money. Ooh, let's look at this thing. It's a Nissan Toyota. It's a Toyota. Oh, no, it's a Nissan. Nissan. I got it right the first time. This thing is rad. She got a sweater on, man. Because <laughs> it gets a little sweaty. Kind of crazy. Nah, it's still pretty warm. It was a little chilly this morning. That was, that was loud, but now truck action wheels and tires are probably worth more than my tsx as a whole so <laughs> that truck life different this thing is super clean all the seals rubbers black parts all should look fresh and non deteriorated very clean rx7 this thing's different slammed hey it's rj right here in connecticut from uh jimmy oaks Yodas, the Corollas. I like the boxy styles. Cressida, Cresta, Cresta, Cresta. AE86, these are sick. Oh, Drift Boy. Seen at the Speed Zone event that happened not too long ago. Pretty wide wheels back there. A little bit of camera gang action probably to get everything fitted how it should that's sick can't go wrong with wood grain i definitely wouldn't mind some wood grain trimming and maybe even steering wheel and all that and one of the tsx is one of them either or would look good the black interior ralphie over there guiding people That's what they're called, Samurais. I can't get enough of that IS hatch. That thing looks sick. So we left that little car show. We are now at this flea market that we've never been to before, Oldsmar Flea Market, and they got a bunch of different shit here. Just random. Literally, I've, I've never seen this before. Uh, and then you go on the inside over here, and it's like the two-way thing, the shops, and you go in and out, and different. Looking around, seeing what the f there is. See, this is where you find a lot of action figures, a lot of vintage aesthetic things, like cars, Hot Wheels, so yeah gonna look around and see what's cool donuts this is like literally a little bit of everything we were literally just in a spot dude had all the kind of cards like pokemon baseball basketball football all those different shit so you really had to go digging and looking through what you're looking for or what you want pretty dope Cooking pots. It's like little ass huts, man. It's a bunch of old school stuff. Show Adrian, like, yo, literally everything. I mean, they're just fucking everything here. I'm trying to find some cool old school car stuff. Uh, obviously, things that I like and know. So, yeah, we're just kind of seeing what they got. I'm trying to find any like cooler car stuff. A lot of them are like racing NASCAR kind of type of vibe. It wasn't really into that whole era. I'm looking for more like JDM. But we got this freeze dried sour Skittles. Pretty cool stuff. Seeded watermelon. Really? I've been looking for these, bro. Yeah. I don't know, we just seen this, let's check it out. Oh, yes. Hi. They're like you. It's like, where's your other spot? Gotta step, gotta step to the left, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, you're the floor, huh? So cute. Yeah, the guy is beautiful. Yeah, you want to get that down? 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 Get that
Ooh. Yeah, stay where you at. <laughs> How do you get them down? I guess he likes me. You gotta try to put him down and try to bite me. <laughs> oh, but that's cool. Hey, stop that. He's kidding me. I'm not cold. <laughs> You're a cool guy. Yeah, I know. I know you like him. You can have another one, buddy. That's Pepe. You can have another one. The girl acts like a car. Want the other one? You can have the other one. He's like, I'll take that one. Yeah. <laughs> Look, problem solved. Look, Look I solved their problems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're both fighting over the same shit. Yeah, you see? <laughs> As you guys can tell, we are at the crib. Before heading out to that meet, I started doing a little bit of uh, sanding with 180 and a little bit of 80, you know, hitting up some more rusty spots. You know, we're just vibing out now. You know, I got a baby girl right there chilling with us, vibing. I'm gonna check this car out because the passenger side shakes like a motherfucker, man. I know the half shaft is like Dunzo, and the bearing is super shot, and I think the axle is. Busting out some grease paws. But yeah, so I'm gonna check things out and see what I could do, what I could replace or figure something out. Check my suspension. Then we'll get back to some more sanding because we're trying to make some more progress. So yeah, just kind of doing what we do. Get into it. <laughs> you good girl? <coughs> yes. I'm gonna be replacing the axle. I got an OEM one. This one, the boots are fine. The driver's side is the one with the outer boot that is messed up. And this one, the inner boot is messed up. It's completely split. So yeah, I knew it was causing me some issues. This has mad play. And I'm also gonna replace the half shaft with one that I already have that's also shot. I wonder if it's uh, less shot than this one and it's all just gonna be a little bit better for the meantime. If any of you guys have like a nice newer, lower mile half shaft, let me know. Otherwise I need to get like the bearings and stuff and then maybe a press and try to do it myself kind of looks like a little bit of pita you obviously need the tools and shit so yeah she's over there sanding it up while i'm over there doing my thing and then once i'm done doing that i'm gonna go ahead and do this figure out what's next oh yeah Man, that shit just all kind of fell apart look i should dig sag on saw <laughs> so yeah it's all split right there as you can tell. It's kind of like cool, uh, new, uh, instrument. Instrument. Yeah, I'm grappling. <laughs> That's stupid. But yeah, nice little instrument. So we're going to put in this OEM one. We'll first clean it up, obviously, take out the half shaft, place in that one. We're going to compare them. They're probably evenly as shitty. Got all my helpers out. <laughs> Pull out this half shaft. Oh, yeah. Get that out. Shit, this thing is loosey goose. This one feels shittier, maybe, than the other one. But it's still gonna be bad. Oh, transmission fluid smells so. This loose. He's just having a fun time. <laughs> I guess I'm not gonna have this dust shield thing on there anyway because 
kind of don't want to stay in there. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, evenly just as shitty. This one feels a little bit worse. All right, guys, so now we are underneath the car. I put in the other half shaft. I don't have the dust shield on there, I know. It kind of sucks, it just doesn't want to stay on. And I was kind of curious of to what's going on in here and what exactly we could see. It kind of seems like there's already a lightweight flywheel, but it doesn't feel that way. Because I don't believe the OEM flywheel has all these hole cutouts. That that I remember, I remember it being like just more solid and bulky, I believe. So, yeah. But you could tell right there on the flywheel, the starter is chewing the fuck out of the teeth. I don't know exactly why that is. Maybe the starter motor and stuff is just going bad and it's struggling more and that's what happens. It's a little less on this side, but you could tell there's some notching, but like really, really right there is pretty pretty bad yeah i don't know what clutch there is in here but i guess that's a lightweight flywheel i'm gonna have to look into that it seemed like maybe some sort of exity or just some knockoff shit uh, i'm not too sure and that is all folks got it all back together with a little bit of frustration because the upper control arm bolt just kept spinning so i had to get some vice grips in there and then i got it in there got it tightened down and the big ass vice grips didn't want to get out so i had to undo that and then find smaller vice grips and then, then ended up working out but pain in the ass yeah hopefully it feels better now we're gonna have to do some runs probably get a little bit of groceries or something and get ready for a new week monday